Hi, I am John Hoffman. I am the author of Getting to Healthy, Making the Transition to Eating Real Food, available on Amazon.com. People ask if diet really is the number one killer of millions of Americans every year, then why isn't the media all over it? They certainly have been with the COVID-19 crisis, which has killed over 113,000 people in the U.S. as of June 8, 2020, a number that is only a tenth of the people who die every year in America from dietary-induced diseases. So why don't I hear news coverage day after day on what we can do to improve our diets, eat healthier, and sway our political leaders to change our country's dietary guidelines, restrict the advertising of sugary foods to children, and subsidize the growing of the right kinds of crops? Moreover, according to research documented by Dr. Joel Furman, Eating a whole food, plant-based, nutritarian diet is the only diet that has been scientifically shown to not only prevent most heart disease, our number one killer in America, but actually reverse it in many instances. Isn't that something that is worthy of headline news coverage, in-depth interviews with experts, protesters taking to the streets, and debates in political circles? over the crops we promote in agriculture and the types of food we give to our children in our school lunches? After all, if someone invented a pill that did all that, wouldn't they receive a Nobel Prize for their work? And wouldn't their heart disease-busting pill be heralded as the greatest medical breakthrough of the last several decades? So, why don't we see the news coverage for this? Why the silence, or at most, a brief mention at the end of the newscast? You don't have to look very far to find the answer. The answer is money. The media only exists because of paid advertisements from their sponsors, which include numerous fast food chains, junk food manufacturers, makers of highly processed foods, and pharmaceutical companies. What do you think would happen if the media started running stories, in-depth interviews, and hour-long specials on how their sponsors' products are responsible for promoting disease, suffering, and death over a person's lifetime? Or how pharmaceutical drugs often treat only the symptoms and not the root cause of the disease? The sponsors would immediately pull their ads, and the media would quickly collapse. Do you think the media knows where their life-sustaining bread-and-butter revenue comes from? You bet they do. Are they going to do anything that might threaten or jeopardize their income? Of course not. Corporations and industry heavyweights spend millions of dollars lobbying our congressional representatives and donating to political campaigns so politicians will write laws that are favorable to their industry and that maintain the status quo. With this kind of financial muscle being flexed, the truth about nutrition has about as much of a chance of getting extensive coverage on the news as a snowflake has to reach the ground on a hot Texas summer day. So, the next time you hear someone mention the lack of attention by the media as evidence that healthy eating is not the solution to our health problems, take them aside and say, let me explain this to you. Thanks for watching and see you next time.